Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? I hope you are having a great day, evening, or night. Whenever you are watching this broadcasted reading, take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. This is a raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. Take only what resonates with you, like I said, and leave the rest. So we're going to see, I'm going to check the temperature out here, see what the temperature is like out here. This is still the nightmare before Christmas, okay? So we're still in that nightmare before Christmas. I'm going to leave, this is day 23. 24 is tomorrow and Friday is the 25th the birth of Christ so we're gonna go and I may do a few back to back but for the most part you know I have your I have your um, messages here nonetheless <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I have your messages here nonetheless. Okay, so I'm going to pull some messages from a few decks tonight. And then, and then, I'm going to let you guys go after that. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull some from, uh, pull the muse tonight. Alright, we're going to pull the muse. This is always a workhorse for me. It's always got clear messages. Never leaves you in the dark and it never leaves you astray. That's why I like this deck here. Along with the light seer. I like that one as well. And it gives me some clear messages. So I'm going to pull this one first. All right, we're still in that sock of Jack and Skeleton and Shelly. All right. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the five. We got the three. The Empress. Yes, we have her out here. So she's speaking in her truth today. We don't know what she want to talk about, but we're talking about this uh, nightmare before Christmas. So it's a female wants to talk, or it could be a male and his feminine energy. It could be a woman as well. Okay, so so talk about it. All right, so talk about this one we have here. We need five card draw. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's hear what these messages are from the karmic. This is um three of potions, so three of cups, right here. That's them uh needing help to do something. That's that masterminding. Inside of his mind, because that stuff is underneath his head. Okay, so she's talking about somebody of two minds. Two or three minds, look like. This person is... Got their telescope out. I'm looking. I'm trying to see across the horizon what I could see. I got my instincts out here with that wolf out here. That's that two of inspirations, and we got that... Night of candles, so we got a man out here, his passion, surveying his seas, surveying his uh person, place, or thing, things that he could get into. Talk about it. Then we got the moon out here. We're talking about Jack's secrets out on the cliff. Talk about his secrets. He's ready to spill the beans out here amongst the pumpkins. See, out there in the pumpkin patch. You know, this is the land of the misfits. This is the land of the 3D. This is also the seven of material, seven of pentacles in reverse. 
So they're crying about their money. So it's about some money and some secrets. Something was lost here. Somebody was trying to play superhero. This is the five of emotions. Okay. This is also the justice card. Okay, so he out here in front of his whole friends, organizations, oogie, friends, and, and uh, whoever, the flunkies, gophers, you know, any of them is out here. This is the four of needles. This was that rushing and retreating, you know, not, you know, and also on the two of emotions, two of cups. Okay, so it's the fishes out here. Let's see what you're emotional about. I always see fish. I pull my other deck out because now that I know that um, emotions is di dimension and perception. That's all how you see it. So this person might be not letting you know about some things on this emperor. Tell me some things about this um, inspiration he's having. That's the emotions they got. So they got the emotions about. Some multiple sex orgasms. That's some sex things, okay? What else? Alright, so. Y'all stingy and withholding, so they not being, they not, um, they withholding, so they being a crab in a basket to a person. Alright, so they're emotional about somebody being withholding from them. Okay, so let's see. Standing on the tops of her head. So it's a projection and broke back mountain. So they and taboo. So it's not talked about here. Not talked about. Okay, it's not talked about and okay, it's in your face. So it's between you and this person. This could be a, a friends with benefits, eight of emotions, walking away, eight of cups, you know, and then also about somebody want to present something. It could be pr Anything in these packages, okay? Anything. Because, you know, they still in the land of uh, of this down here in this uh, misfit land, okay? And this is projection, broke back mountain, and taboo on this two of emotions. This is what they're emotional about. Something that they're not talking up about, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, they got the glory hole. So they glorify all types of things. Sexual gratification. Anything that got to do with promiscuous with sex. And things of that nature. They are all in. Okay, so that's what they're talking about. They're fluid about. Fluid and duality about. So this could be a male or a female. This is duality here. This is also polarities as well. Okay, talk about it. Talk about the instinct on the wolf. Instinct. This is self-protection here. One on the moon. And it's the uh, moon and the uh, materials. Seven of materials. Uh -huh. This is the genesis. The birth of the consciousness. Your talents shine. Alright, so on the moon, on his talents, these people are very talented at the way they, you know, manipulate others. Along on the justice, this is the awakening of Gaia, and that's about the plants, the stones, the the uh, humans, and the you know plants, humans, you know, in the galaxies, and in, in, in you know in, in the environment that you in. This is out when we in my galaxies out there, the butterflies and the trees and the transformative of radiant love. That's what we're talking about right there. That's what that new um, that's what that New Year's, New Year 2021. Yesterday, I was talking about 2020, y'all. We got to get with it. I got to get with it. So, in some of those videos you saw, like where I talked about 2020, I was talking about 2021. Just a refer reference back to that video. Um, it's about 2021. We're going ahead. That message was from the divine. And that message was referring to 2021. I have to repeat that. And this message is about going forward to 2021. Okay. And that's transformative radiant, radiant love. Okay. So that's that radiant love. And it's under the moons too. You see the moons at the top of this card. And it's under the moon on the card that we're talking about. But it was under the justice. Okay. So that's what it was under. So now we're going to get the needles. And that's about 
the hang on, wake up and tenacity, wake up to tenacity and determination. And you see we got that as above and so below. We got the air, the fire, the the water, and the earth, the five point star here. So there. And that's the trees, that's the animals, that's the plant, that's the environment, that's the hanging on. That's what you're hanging on to, what's present. So these presents that's here could be anything. It could be wolves and sheep's clothing. It could be a llama, which lacks um, intimacy. It could be a dog. He could be loyal or unloyal. It could be... Um, some kind of cardinal so it could could be you know like a taurus or a um a libra okay it also could be in its high knowing it could happen around sunset or sunrise so you hanging on around these times okay and this is the heart mind transformative space you make a difference. So it's a door and a portal open here because you make a difference in somebody's life. I'm not sure who, person, place, or thing. Somebody appreciates you in your in their life, okay? And I'm going to just leave these cards like that and I'm going to just pull over top of it. Let's see what the um what the moon is here. Tell me about the moon and the, and the um instinct. What we got to have instinct about? All right? That's about that oh what a night. Sexiest party season ever. No other compare. So somebody, a divine masculine, is still serving what matters in sex. Who's he still comparing sex with one from one person to the next? Okay, come on. Tell me about the moon. Okay, this is the re. This is the um. Don't be an emotional cookie over it. Don't be an emotional cookie over it. Okay. Choose happiness because this is the llama day. They rude. I told you they lack intimacy. I told you right here when I saw these llamas here, and I know when my llama card come out, it talks about a person that has lacks in intimacy. So I knew right there when they was presenting these presents to me that they're telling me that it's a person up here on National Llama Day that it's a person that you're going to be emotional about. Don't be an emotional cookie over this person is what they're telling you, okay? Emotional eating, emotional wreck. Emotional about what happened or what didn't happen. What did you do? What does this person have better or over over you? It's none of that, okay? This person is just like that. All right, so tell me about the justice here. All right, because you shine. This is 2021. This is dreams of shower scenes. This is the really impress. The really impressive, and this is much better. You'll do much better once you get through this saga of worrying about somebody else that makes you feel like a um a, a um a unhappy cookie okay and she's not willing to change for anybody and when you get through this make sure that is an important um part of you that you don't change for nobody okay and i'm not talking about change like oh just a stone wall to everything but Sometimes, like, when you got boundaries and you say, no, enough is done here, that's what you mean. Enough is done here. That's the, what would happen between me and you was a, um, a part of something you call a deal breaker. Okay? That's called a deal breaker. When you cross my boundaries to something that I really didn't really want, and now you're going into my deal breakers. All right, so that means now you're in friend zone along with, I don't really want you calling my phone at all. Like, you, I'm not like, no, stop. Like, it's enough. Enough is done here. Like, what you want to keep doing? Just keep rubbing it in my face? Like, I don't like people like that. All right, so this is the breakthrough. This is I'm happily married, but not an observer so I, I overlook everything in my marriage and my boy relationship i let him do whatever he wants this one compares her to you 
when I fuck her. So this this person is still comparing you to others. And I told you that up here with the oh what a night. And he's going to always do that if he comes back. He's going to compare what where he was gone away from somebody. So now he's away from that person now, right? So now he's coming back to compare what he did with that person to what you and him are doing right now to see if it benefits what he was getting or what he got. Okay, that's how he does it. Okay, and that's what you're in your mind about right here with the Empress. Okay, Divine Feminine, don't stress yourself. We're going to go in back and forth on this yo-yo string until we get it. But once you get it, you're going to be like, you know, enough is done on this shit. Enough is done. On the hanging on. Tell me about it. You know, because this is hidden agendas. This is about up in the air shit. Shit is, you know what I mean? Myrtle's drugs. You know what I mean? You fucking caught on the Myrtle's fucking drugs. Myrtle might be your fucking name. I don't know. And you might need a fucking pharmacy. The way shit is going around. He might need a pharmacy. He might need a fucking tetracycline fucking shot. Or some kind of fucking antiviral medication. You don't know what this person has been getting. And then to go down like this nasty stuff they've been talking about doing oral and all this stuff. This so nasty stuff they want you to do to them when they come back. Okay? You don't know who he been with. You don't know. You it's, you don't know. Somebody else might have gave him toppy. Oh, yeah, he took a bath. But guess what? He got a nice split on the top of his um manhood there that all things can go down in there from somebody's dirty rusty teeth that they didn't brush their mouth their tongue okay their gums okay like i tell you i'm not no dentist i'm not here to pull your teeth to help you or make you brush your teeth or to make you follow a journey this is not my job i'm just here to give a message and if this is not you know I'm, I'm conducive to you, and this is the lifestyle you like to live. Hey, by all means, keep doing it. It's your choice. I told you yesterday in the other messages, the divine say you have choices. But don't get mad when others are succeeding and you're still stuck where you are going around those mountains. You know, because there are people that still are, are blind to the truth and don't want to know, know the truth. And then they'll fight with me like I'm the bearer of bad news. I'm not. Okay, you just have to awaken and evolve, and you know, get your downloads are coming, the synchronicities are coming. If you're seeing double digits, you know, zeros and fives and ones and you know, twos and fours and eights and you know, all of those numbers are all signs and synchronicities. You get love messages, songs that can continue to play in your head. Those are epiphanies and daydreams and such of that nature to help you to say, listen. It's something in this message we're trying to send you. You hear that song we're playing? This is for you. This is to let you know. One day I was riding down the highway. And I watched the hearse go past me. And the song that played on the radio was Low Rider. Huh. I didn't know if it was mentioned for him. Or if he was riding low because it was the day he had to go. But any event of what it was, that's what stuck out to me in that moment. Okay, <laughs> that was the moment I saw. I was like, wow, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm a low rider or maybe he's feeling like a low rider going to where this man is driving him because he was riding in the back in the hearse in a limousine. <laughs> okay, so that was my, you know, about where you are. All right, so tell me some more things about this. All right, so this is a, um, another woman. So this is, or you like me, what I give a shit. It says, okay, no joke. It says, no joke here. After dripping, after dropping, just. Or you like, or like, or you liking me. What I give a shit about is. May sound silly, but I want my advice. So somebody asking for advice here on this situation. What should I do? Where should I go? Or what have you on this situation? Let's ask. Let's go on the ship's wheel. 1907. Let's go on the ship's wheel. Let's talk about it. Who's this old? What you think they should do here? What is this? Oh, the oh, what a night! Sexiest season ever. That is the swords. That is the sword. Somebody needs to speak up about what you're not interested having in this situation anymore. This is the swords. Okay, this is the turtles. This is the you know, that turtle talks about going all out. It's about you, you feel like you should be going all out with this person. This person ain't gonna go all out for you. 
is what I'm hearing. My car's flipped over. Sorry, just a second. Okay. So, this person won't go all out for you. So, what do you think about that? This person won't go all out. They like a good time. And they like to see things as a good time. And once you become a, something that's like a burden or some type of a, a badger or a hag, then it becomes like nuisance to this person. So talk to me about this um, much better. Really impressive. This is, talks about she's not willing to change for anyone here on the justice. And that's the fishies. That's how fish hook, cat hook, you know. That's how they do it. That's how they catch it. You know what I mean? And you might be out here catching it with your new looks and your new outfit in 2021. That's what it's talking about. Moving ahead. In the middle of the day. Might see somebody. This is on the buckets. On that I'm I'm happily married, but not an observer. I'll see I'll see what I need to see. Sometimes I overlook the stuff that I should see. You know, because I grin and bear, because there is a hidden agenda here. That's on the flags. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what the flags are. You know what I mean? We're going to say what they are. Tell me what these flags are to me, please. Tell me what the swords are. Swords. That's the lay. Who leads you? How you blind leading the blind? Or who's leading this situation? Who's leading it? That's on the swords. Is this person leading you by puppet string? Or is they the narrator of your narrative? Just depends on where I go. What's this for this turtle? Going bald. This is the sadness and isolation. That's exactly what it is. That's why you feel sad and isolated because this person makes you feel like a sad cookie. Like you're not sweet enough to eat. Like somebody else is more important than you. Alright, talk about the fishies. Alright, so that's the clarity of your belief. You don't believe that. You don't believe that this person is better than you. This person just is, went to somebody that's a lot more easier and a, will take his bull crap a lot more than you will. This person is lacks intimacy. I told you. The llamas. This is talking about that rest and consideration on them buckets. You gonna have, This is a bucket of shit. This is a bunch of shit that you got to carry around. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to carry this stuff around. I'll compare her to you when I fuck her. So this is a comparison. This is a competition in his mind you don't want to be in a competition with another girl because he's been with her now however long and now he's been distanced from you wouldn't answer your calls putting you on block so now he's gonna go do that right back to her put her on block not answer her calls just like he did you you know what i mean and then he gonna compare the what they was doing to what y'all gonna do when he come back on these hidden agendas talk about it on the flags all right, so coming together. So when y'all come together, like I said, on these on these hidden agendas is what he going to have in mind. You know, to compare and contrast on the opening up. He going to open you back up, get your feelings back involved, and then he going to be back outside that door again. And you're going to be wondering what I do wrong. But it wasn't nothing that you did wrong. It was the boundaries you let somebody just go over. So next is when they cross your boundaries... You have to <laughs> set deal breakers. Okay, that's the difference. All right, so now we're going to talk about the lead. Who leading what and what's leading who on the swords. All right, so that's the die now. So don't be in denial when this stuff comes out true and that you didn't pay attention to it because you was in denial. Okay, so the sadness and isolation. The sadness and isolation is... That is the focus. Focus on yourself. Focus on your health. Focus on you. Focus on your wealth and prosperity, abundance, and happiness and joy. And all the other things will follow. Okay, so talk about the clarity of beliefs. That is this deceit. This person is very deceitful. Okay, this person wants to compare you to another lover. Okay, so tell me about this um, rest and reconsider. You know what I mean? I'm going to hope. That's a hope and a wish. Hoping that everything works out. I can get you back under my graces. Under the hoover and under the gaslighting. And the best thing to do to this person is gray rock. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, no. And so one and oh, one in open-ended questions. Yes and no. And goodbye. Are you here? Are you going to um, answer the door? No. Huh. Are you busy? Yes. Yes and no answers to a person like this. 
They cross the boundaries. They cross to the to the dead to the deal breakers. Okay, so this is the strength, and you gotta have to have strength and stand your ground like a tree on your word. You know, your word and deed. You are gonna have to stand on your word like a deed it is, like a deed to a house, and that's the reminding you. The reminds you to stand on your word and deed when you're telling this person that they've crossed the deal breaker. They ain't gonna understand what a deal breaker is, but. It's a solid deal breaker in your book if this is not what you truly want and it's not part of your your journey. They yeah, so ask, what, what is my journey? This card is falling. All right, so this is about that shame and between hell and I'm afraid to tell you about it. Okay, that's what that's talking about. That's the um, shame in hell. So, that's the shame in hell. And that's also the karmic. And this is also, I'm afraid to tell you about this. Okay? On the lead. The blind leading the blind now. And then we got, I'm shocked to know the truth. It's a vampire. So now he's ready to run. Okay? It says, who are you now? And what the F did you do to me? So how do you think I always stay so slim and in great shape from, you know, top, like they told us over here on the fishes? All right, so this is also, this is a mental, on this deceitful stuff, this is a mental, um, this is a mental anguish here, mental anguish, and then them Oogie Boogies is out here. Um, the incredible happy TV of a favorite grouch. A day in the life series. This is uh, a tailor stitch. So you, this person might be end up giving, giving you some stitches. This person might be just a hateful person. Period. So you might need to just fall back anyway. You know what I mean? Because um, this person now, these people have... Um, you know how the Kardashians are over the top with their personalities? This person is the same way. A uh, uh, attention-seeking person. That's what the name they're using. Kardashians who? You have the perfect personality to allow cameras to follow you around as you live your life. You're in an open book and you're, you wouldn't mind being catapulted into fame just by being yourself. Not to mention between your best friends and your crazy family you have to a perfect co-star to join you so that's what it's talking about you know what i mean like the incredible grouch you know what i mean some days you up and some days you're not sometimes this person is up and sometimes this person is down but the rumor has is that you know what i mean there's you know trouble in paradise this is what rumor has it okay and it's going to take some strength to hold it together because this is time sensitive here Okay, because this is a baller here. This is a person that needs to declutter some things out of their life. The baller, they want some real action. This is perception and visions quest. This is between me and you. The hidden pain is behind. Is um he hiding behind the fans? And this is the oral history. And this is um not what he expected. Okay, that's what it's talking about. Not what he expected. Okay, so what did he not expect here? What did he expect here? Talk to me about what he didn't expect. Since this was a hidden agenda. What and didn't he have the marriage, the the births, the bust ups, and doing lines. So that was what he didn't expect. He didn't expect it. His was his uh 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 um I ain't your mama and this wasn't the red skins he was in. The Redskins, and that wasn't the land of lakes that he was used to, and it wasn't his uncle fucking bands, okay? That's what it was. And then it's like them doing lines, okay? That's talking about this and that, but this is talking about births, marriages, and break and bust ups. Okay, so that's what it's talking about on the hit and hit and then gingers. He didn't expect for y'all to have a bust up. He didn't expect for you to have a baby, but he did expect for you to have a baby if y'all didn't use condoms. So he expected you to have a baby. So you might have a baby here. Okay, and also he might um didn't plan on marriage you, but when he saw how good you could do, you know what I mean, them tricks. You know he thought maybe that would have been a good idea but once he realized that the girl down the street could do it better or down at the local nightclub or down at the uh piggly wiggly or down at kroger's or down at uh wherever the store that they pick up women at is where they saying is where you know they do this at at walmart see like i said you got a kid that go to the little boy uh team mom 
Somebody out here being unparalleled, being, you know, I'm dragging this. He might be one way with you, and then there's another way with somebody else, because this is the love y'all got. This is y'all love, okay? My mind set today, and in those days, I... I DK, I don't know. Okay, this is love though, because it was it was it's confusion here. This is the hidden agenda. This is confusing, but but we on a journey. This is that journey walking on hot coal. So we gonna speed on, or we gonna let somebody, or naysayers, or doubters, or somebody that really is not for our highest good take us off our journey and off our path. And you may say, from point A to point B, it's my destiny or my journey, but no. Your journey is when you are at success. It may say, oh, I'm going from California to Dallas. Or I'm going from Boston to Philadelphia. You know, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? You might say that's a point A to point A, B, this destination. But this is a journey. So we're not going to just stay. We might stay a while. But we got a lot of things to break through. We got them shells of heart. Our heart is in our soul. So we got to go to the depths to unleash that. Because we done buried it under layers and layers of ice. So we got to chisel away so people can get to our hearts now. Okay. So we on this love your journey. And let's do it. And make every moment count in. And this is the touch basis sometimes and this is a massive game changer and this is for enthusiasts i'm always tell you this is for enthusiasts because oprah is about being top being you know she goes over and beyond for her 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 mental health she reads books she goes for meditation i think his name is um it's a, it's a, a indian deepak deepak choppers Deepak, and she is a real renowned meditationist. So if that name don't ring the bell to you, it's D E E P A K, I think. I'm not sure. But that's the guy. And he's a round renowned meditationist. So when it comes down to her meditating, she goes hard and goes deep. So that's what it goes, and that's what's telling you to do. Go hard and go deep. Alright. And if you are liking these types of readings, the as above and so below, the nightmare before Christmas. May you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that bell notification along with that thumbs up. Namaste, season's greetings, now I must go.